All right, moving on to recording. Um, this is a part of this is a second part of a four-part series, uh, basically creating a song from start to finish in son using sonar. I'm a major advocate of sonar. My name is Masquerade. I'm an artist, songwriter, producer, and if you're interested in checking out my music, check out the website on the screen, or you can listen to me while I say mlifesoul.com. When I'm done with this song, I'm going to put it on there so you guys can listen to it, and also you can pick it up if you want. And also you can pick it up if you want. So we're going to go on to, now we're going to move on to recording um, the track. By the way, I didn't mention in my last uh, segment, um, you should always be saving it because, you know, you never know, especially with PC, you never know when the... Um, when it's going to clunk out on you or just do something really weird. So there's a section on there. If you look up the help section, section on auto saving, and um, you can get the computer, you can get the software to auto save your stuff like either every so often moves or every so many minutes. I usually like to do every uh, 10 minutes or every 5 minutes and every 50 changes or something. Something like that. I don't know what I have it on, but I have it set to a certain amount. So that way, even if I forget to save it, which happens a lot in this business, at least you have it on auto save. So if it does crash or something happens, you have it auto saved. Also, I would recommend getting as much RAM as you can. My computer has 4 meg of RAM. And also getting it as fast as you can. Mine's is a 3.1 megahertz. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, gigahertz. 3.1 gigahertz. Um, and it's got four megs of RAM or four gig of RAM and I'm not sure something else but it's really fast and it's got a lot of space because what we're gonna do is use a lot of plugins and stuff and try to get it get it cracking right so what are you gonna do right now now we're gonna add vocals and I haven't come up with them but I do have an idea of this of, of, of what I'm gonna do uh, because as I've been writing the song, I've been thinking about stuff I want to talk about. And since I call it the YouTube song, I'm going to write a song about YouTube. But not about YouTube, maybe relationship with a chick about YouTube. So I'm going to go right here to this section in here. I'm still in track for you right now. And I'm going to insert multiple tracks. Okay. Down here is MIDI. I don't need MIDI tracks. I have plenty of MIDI tracks. But up here... I want to put in several many, uh, multiple tracks. Now what I like to do is I like to have at least eight tracks for chorus and eight tracks for pre, if I'm going to do a pre-chorus, I like to have eight tracks available for that. And then I have to like to have two tracks available for lead. And the reason I put them all up front is because I don't want to be adding them later on. I just want them ready so that I just go and I just army track and I'm ready to go. Now I know there's a section in here where you can um, you can tell it which um, which track you want to record. I mean, which um, what source you want it to come on, and it can all match the source. But I don't know how to do that yet. Um, even though I've been using it a long time, I just been lazy and I haven't figured it out. So if you want to leave me a comment telling me how to do that, so people can know, that would be cool. Okay. But so that's eight. That's eighteen. Eight plus eight, sixteen, and the two tracks that I want for the lead. So that's eighteen tracks. I'm adding eighteen audio tracks. And the main destination, you can, I have already mine set up. I have three sins set up. I have one master, I have vocal sin, and I have uh, a music sin. So I'm setting these up for vocals. What I do is I run my background vocals through the vocals, but I run my two mains through the master. But since I'm adding all these tracks right now, I'm just going to send them out through the vocals. And then that's all I need. So you press OK. Then it will set up your track. All right, so I'm gonna press Control Up Arrow to skinny all my tracks, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna press Control Down Arrow, went up and down as many times as I need to to get to get where it says I, which is for uh, input, and there's no input. Now the track I'm starting on is track 10, so I'm gonna click that or press Enter and I'm down arrow the track input series and whatever whatever your input is you need to set it up for that so mine is RPC 1 Roland Bus RBUS 1 
and then if you press down arrow it'll go to the same section on the next track and then you press mm -hmm. enter and then you press down a couple times and you do the same thing for all 18 tracks so I like to do mine really fast so here we go mm -hmm. Now again, I don't know, I think there's a way you can have it set up to when you add all those tracks it'll do it themselves, but I don't know how to do that yet and I just haven't taken the time to learn. So if you know how to do it, leave a comment and let people know how to do it. If, if not, that's cool. What I just did is basically made my, got my um, uh, uh, microphone ready to record. So then all I got to do is press R and the input is already ready to go. Now if you have different inputs and stuff, then you use the different inputs. You set it up however you want to go. But all I did was get my input ready so then when I press arm, it's going to be ready to record. And now I'm going to pause here and I'm going to set up my microphone and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got my microphone set up. And you see, we got, all you do is arm it. If you set up your input right, you should have some type of feedback going into the, this bar here is telling you, that they that your microphone is hot but you're not recording I'm pressing control up because I don't really need to see anything but my volume my left and right uh, my pan left and right and these little buttons here for mute and, and solo and stuff that's all I really want to see um, when you're writing a song I like to start with uh, first off I like to start with just mumbling anything I don't know however your songwriting process goes I don't have anything for this so I'm just gonna make something up as I go and I'm just gonna start mumbling something that's what I like to do sometimes is kinda just get into it and mumble something and if it sounds good it sounds good if it doesn't sound good it doesn't sound good um, so what I'll do is record a few tracks and then I'll probably I'll probably pause and write the whole song and record the whole song and then come back to you when we're uh, when we're uh, uh, when we're ready to, to to get the vocals ready and mix and stuff. So so I'm just gonna go let's see. That's the beginning. Uh, I want to talk to you about um, in here. In your effects box, you can add audio effects. Um, you can add. 